Yolanda Drops the third episode on her podcast. And guys, this is really a very interesting one themed cyberbullying and mental health. Hey there, it's you. Welcome to Lovely On on YouTube. And this is Spicy Updates with Lovely On, where you get all your spicy updates so you guys i'm going to be looking into this podcast like guys i have to tell you that i'm really so proud of these young ladies in fact for this part that yolanda has chosen this her podcast mm, i just want to thank yolanda first for like featuring her 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 bb um sassy house meets like is, is a good thing for me it's not like she can't bring any external celebrity or any other person but featuring her fellow housemates mm, is a 100% for me. Like, Yolanda, you are amazing. Guys, you need to go watch that. Like, watch it. It's about 50-something minutes. You have to do that. If I can do that, you have to do that. Some of you guys don't even watch ordinary 8 minutes video, but I don't know why. You have to do that, okay? And I just want to thank Papa Goats, too for creating that whatsapp group for them like i had it in that podcast he created the whatsapp group and she was like mm, his name was omitted at some point but the letter got his number the whatsapp group for all the housemates you know liema had mentioned sometime too that they have a group we have the chats where they do all like okay so they interact i just want to say thank you to papa ghost for that there are so many points i picked from yolanda's podcast the first one is um being able to listen to your fans okay the second one is um the cyberbullying stuff and its effects on them they are humans they are not robots the third one is um um you know taking behind all that happens in the house you know and moving on okay collaborating with each other and moving on the fourth thing i picked was um her collaboration with lerato and the fifth is that they are supporting themselves in directly okay so you have to watch the end of this video because i'm really going to be spilling the tea to you guys honestly guys i'm really so happy the way the support came okay like most of the housemates shared this on her inst on their insta story because yolanda shared it and many of them likes of jerry lerato young papi shuenza um Z, Taki, Senai, name it, like literally lots of them, lots of them guys, the shared it, except for those maybe who hadn't seen it, the shared it, and when I saw that, I was impressed, okay, and if I, it was that that made me know, because I know I've been seeing it, okay, and by the time I closed from work, got back, it, they've already done, but I know definitely I'm going to catch up with it, it's going to be on her channel, and I did. I watched it from uh, like, whoa, this is what we are talking about. Housemates supporting each other. There is no need for some of those things they are doing. Like she mentioned that in the house, um, Willie didn't just like her. That was Willie's own. He doesn't like Yolanda and he was always nominating her. Okay. So when she started like you know, being friends or like being cool with Willie, I think it wasn't okay with the fans. Like, oh, Willie did this to you, Willie did, but she had to tell them it's all about the game as on the house. This is who Willie is, okay? And now everybody is cool, okay? That was when she bring in being able to listen to your fans, okay? Not that you allow, you're allowing the fans control you, but you should be able to listening to them because they put you there you were in the house they were the ones voting for you okay talked about her you know pages growing it is the fans courtesy of the fans you see somehow some of the housemates that have not really a strong fan base or like okay they you can see that on their socials they are just like struggling to grow when Lema came out of the house, she was at worst. But now, look at her. Look at Z. Look at Yolanda. Look at some of them. So, it's not like you say, oh, I'm not going to listen to these people. Because they made you. They are the reason you are where you are. They are the reason you are getting the publicity. They are the reason you are trending. So, in as much as you want to do some things, but you should be able to, like, you know, make them understand that is what i really understand in that aspect when she talked about being able to listen to your fans and 
being able to like tell them is was just a game i know this person didn't like me in the house but now we are out of the house and there was something willie really said that shocked me willie said he's building his brand not he doesn't want to be known for willie be being sassy because definitely he's going to fade definitely he's going to end he's going to fade away seriously and that is the truth that is the basic truth and you know yolanda came in and said definitely yeah because if another show comes some of the fans might go. Some of the fans might still stay. That was when they brought in Kosi. That see Kosi reigns. They are still there for her. Despite that new persons are coming, they are still there for her. So it's like the show has ended. We shouldn't just be associating ourselves with the show. Whatever happened in the show, we should be able to move on and let the things be in the past. So when they mentioned it, I said, yes, this is what I want to see between Z young puppy and her fans because like the z fans you know they get mad when they see that oh z this this la 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 just like um makeke's own coming some of them were mad at she hugging him and i think z should be able to tell them i know he did this in the house i know he did this i know he did that okay this is who he is this even if i don't have anything to do with him you guys shouldn't hate him that is what i'm expecting from all these housemates honestly them supporting each other just the way they were um publicizing sharing the post on their insta story so their fans can go watch so their followers can also go watch that is the way and in this podcast you could see how they were just kind of promoting one another you know mentioning their names i remember when the, when shuenza was like oh he's got he's got um singing skills too he mentioned liema and when he was asked to sing he sang the impu melelo indirectly publicizing or making the song to still trend like i really loved that i really love that guys so um coming to the cyber bullying you guys know that when they had this metro fm whatever music award liema wore this her black i'm uh, sorry yolanda wore, wore this her outfit that really got a lot of persons talking they were like, oh, why would she dress that way? Why did she dress? What is she putting on? Can you imagine? In fact, Yolanda and Papa Ghost, hey, they really they really got it from people. Netizens, you really, they really got netizens talking like, what is Yolanda putting on? What's Papa Ghost putting on? Who carries a handbag? So Yolanda mentioned this in this particular podcast, like that they are not um still neither are they robots they are human so some of this thing gets to them like you saw this person is this oh you body shame this person you slush shame this person you do this you do the other one that it really gets to them which is very true which is very true just like when they were oh this person is a rat oh this person was this oh this person is that oh she's this. like they go pick images of these housemates and you see them, the, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it gets to them. No matter how they may tend to pretend like it's not getting to them, they said it gets to them and it also affects their mental health. So if you're here listening to me, I know you're one of such. If I even in the comments, you see a lot of them. Everybody mustn't be your fave. That somebody is not your fave doesn't mean that you should also hit on the other ones or, be, or treat them like they are humans. This cyberbullying should end. That is why I'm trying my best to inculcate, to carry everybody along, talk about everyone. There is no favoritism here. BB himself, see reality TV show is gone and it's gone. So we are building the this these individuals. We are building them like with their own different brands. Whether you're this, you're that, you're the other one. That's what you're known for now. Nobody is talking about in the house. Nobody is talking about in the house. So she mentioned that, and you know she had to like talk about some other celebrities and said, "Whoa, that after all these things happened, that was when she started respecting some of the celebrities that she mentioned, and you know, there that these persons have been in this for like years, for like ages. So that means the really." been through a lot you can understand that they've been through a lot so she mentioned somebody even when he got broke they're like oh he doesn't have money now oh he you know they always as long as you're a celebrity 
That is the celebrity life we talk about. At times, you see people tell you, ah, hey, leave Marcinia, leave Papi, leave Fliema, leave Z. Definitely, as long as they are celebrities, that is one thing they have to learn to deal with. And that is one thing they have to learn to live with. Because definitely, everybody's not going to like you. Everybody's going to... But there was something Willie said. Willie said, even... um. Those of them, you feel they don't like you. Maybe on social media, they might be saying all sorts of things. Now, when they see you in person, they'll be like, oh, really? Ah, like, it is like that. There are some places like, oh, I don't like Liema. You don't want to tell me that you walk into a mall or you walk into a grocery store and you see Liema, you'll be like, ah, Liema. Oh, Z is not my fan. Mm. You walk into a supermarket, you walk into anywhere, you see Z. You don't, you won't tell me that you just walk past her without saying, hi. See how are you? Yeah, but you know, it's easier for them to do it on the socials than in real life. So that was just what they were trying to say, and it's something they have to learn to deal with. But people should take it with ease because they are also humans, and it gets to them. But in as much as it gets to them, yeah. So there's nothing much they can do about it. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing more they can do about it. But I think this is just their first time and they're going to learn to deal with it. There are some celebrities now that mm, doesn't really get to them anymore. It's one of those things. It's one of those things. Okay. So, yeah, so moving on to from uh, the cyberbullying and the threat on the mental health, she talked about working with Lerato Modise. You know, she said Lerato had kids all over. Like, she had lots and lots of kids. If you guys don't know, you guys should know it now. If I, there was one time, Lerato was talking about um something, I think it's an app or something she developed, which is actually just for kids, okay, to enhance their learning or something, okay. It's just that, I don't know. You know, we are not really talking much about some of these persons. And that is why I want to be, like, inculcating everybody in my content, okay? We just make them known and bring it to you guys. It mustn't be that it's not your favorite. You're not, you're not going to listen or you're not going to hear what we're saying, okay? So Yolanda mentioned that since Lara Toh has got lots of kids, it would be nice if she collaborates or works with Lerato because she she has lots of kids scattered all over. You might see those ones with Vitilico, you might see those ones with albinism, you might just see kids with, you know, just like maybe she wanna like represent she was like have an impact make an impact in their life that albinism shouldn't stop you vitiligo shouldn't stop you from achieving your career you should learn to live with it be happy and as long as there are things you can't change there's nothing you can do about it so but she said but she will know she knows that maybe some of our fans might be like oh lerato of all presses lerato did you bad lerato didn't give you food lerato did this and that yeah, she's cool with Lerato now, okay? There was something Yolanda shared, and the where she was dancing, that's Moyen and herself, Liema, um, I think she went Za and Lerato, or I don't know who was there. Lerato also shared it in her Insta story, okay? She pulled it from Yolanda, so that would tell you that they are cool. They are in a good space now, right? But she said she might want to take a step further and the fans might be like, oh, she did this to you. So all she need to do is to convince them, to tell them, no, that was the house. But now I can understand this person. Lerato has come out to say, that's not me. And I think Lerato has gone to made up with whoever she had issues with. At least we heard that from Liema. And I think with Yolanda too, they are cool. It was a game. It was a game. She said Lerato didn't give her food. It was a game. It was a game. Like, they are out of Biggie's house. Toxicity, everything is bygone. Okay, so it's not like she's just going to like, when she knows her fans might be like this. But it's just ability to, for you to interact with your fans and say, oh, we are cool now. We are this, we are that. And definitely the fans will, they will. They will. There is a saying that said, um... Just do you. The world will adjust. You understand that kind of thing. Just you, you let them know this is it. Definitely they're going to adjust. You don't want to tell me that if Lema comes tomorrow and tells her Lily that, look, I think I've understood Jared. I think Jared is this. I think Jared, you think, yeah, some persons might be like, oh, no, after all this, but some persons will still stay. Loyalty. 
So um, she talked about that, and mm, I think that would be a good thing. Honestly, Lerato is doing really, 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 really well. I just want to like say I'm so happy. Like they are supporting each other. They are cool with each other. They are just okay with each other. No bad blood. No anything. Okay, even if anything, it has to be from fans. And please, some of these housemates, you should start like calling your fans to other. You should just start calling your fans to other guys. So, you guys, I really enjoyed that podcast. Well, you don't expect me to bring you everything here. No, you have to go to Yolanda's YouTube channel, hear it for yourself, enjoy it for yourself, laugh it up for yourself, and that's it please don't forget to like this video don't forget to be subscribed to my youtube channel please guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye